If you have a laptop computer with a battery that no longer holds a charge, you may have considered just buying another to solve the issue. While costly, it is often the easiest way to have a battery-powered computer again. However, a battery that doesn't appear to hold a charge is not necessarily completely dead. In this video, I will show you how to open and diagnose a laptop battery pack for bad cells. On my table is a Dell 6-cell lithium-ion battery. It is 11.1 volts, so the battery will be composed of three pairs of cells connected in series. I have already removed the innards from the casing. To open the casing of these laptop batteries, you have to use a considerable amount of force. The battery itself on all laptop batteries is sealed. So the plastic is completely molded and in order to open it, you have to open like this with some kind of sharp tool. You could use a small knife or this tool that I have here, something like that. Use the flat end to use more leverage and you work your way around the whole perimeter of the case and then typically the uh, lid will just come off like that. So here's what the laptop battery looks like once it's removed from the case. So what you have is the controller board, the connector that goes to the laptop itself, and the actual lithium ion cells. To understand the circuit better, I personally draw out the circuit so I know where to touch my multimeter probes in order to measure the voltage of each of the three blocks. After having a look at the battery itself, I made this drawing of how the circuit is made. So voltage comes in from this side here, comes into the first block, then goes into the second block, then the third block, then finally out like that. So in total we have three sections that we'll be measuring. To measure the voltage of the first block it'll have to be between here and here. So on the battery itself we can use the positive terminal that starts here and the negative side of the battery that ends here. So Touching my two probes with the multimeter on, I'll be able to read out the voltage of just this, this block here. So I'll turn on the multimeter. Positive to positive and negative to negative. So positive is touching positive and now the negative side. And what are we getting there? minus 0 0.01 so that's bad news it means that uh, most likely the polarity of these uh, lithium cells has reversed let's measure the uh, the next blocks so to measure the second block it'll have to be between this point and that point so we can use the same point here that we used for negative in the first block and for the negative for the second block, we'll use this point here. So we're touching this and this. So what's the voltage now? So it's 2.59. So 2.59 volts. So these two cells right here, this block here, is 2.59 volts. So it is under 3 volts, but not by a huge amount. Technically these two might be salvageable with a bit of a boost, but uh, who knows what their capacity might be. It's worth a try anyways, but that's for another time. Now finally we have this block here. So in order to measure just the voltage of the final block here, it'll have to be between 
this point and this point, like that. So positive, so even more like this. So positive here, negative there. So the negative point, since it exits out through here, would be this point. And as a positive, we can use what we previously used as negative, which is that side there. So negative to negative, positive to positive. And what are we getting for the voltage? Three point, what's that? 3.18, 3.17, 3.18. So these aren't as bad as the other uh, cells. So these ones might have a better time uh, being recharged. So what could we learn from this voltage measurement? The reason why the laptop battery is dead is mainly because of block number one, which is the first two batteries. So these two batteries are effectively dead. Here, I'll put two X's on them. Block two and block three seem to be faring far better, or at least retaining some sort of voltage. However, they'll need to be uh, rejuvenated with uh, a low amperage kind of steady charge to bring them back up to around 3.2, 3.3 volts, and they may work. However, their capacity may or may not be severely diminished. Uh, further testing will show whether that is true or not. But basically, if uh, you really wanted to, you could technically make this uh, battery working again by uh, taking another 18650 cell like this one and uh, you need two of them but you take out these two and put uh, two new ones of uh, similar capacity to the uh, other four and you'll have a working battery although it is quite tricky because uh, the contacts are welded onto these batteries, so you'd need to uh, either have a spot welder or to be uh, good with uh, soldering. And once you've finished rebuilding your battery, if it isn't working, what you'll probably have to do is to reset the, uh, the battery chip. And the way you typically do this is have a look at the uh, bottom of the contacts that go to the laptop right here these contacts here and uh, you short out uh, the positive end of the battery pack to the positive of the contacts so on this uh, battery pack uh, so you attach it there the positive ends are the uh, rightmost points. So what you would do is you have that there and you touch that there, you hold it for a few seconds. And uh, with your new batteries in, uh, the uh, battery circuit will reset and it'll be working again. If not, then your battery circuit is probably toast. So if you've got an old laptop battery pack that seems like it's dead, know that it's probably not completely dead, but it needs a bit of repair. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that.